Muslims wanted to invade and take them down, they sent a spy one time. So we want to take Spain. Muslims are so strong here. Yeah. We want to take them down. So a spy walks in, he finds a Muslim. They're in a gathering like this. The two Muslims are arguing. One of them is saying the hadith is in Sahih Bukhari, the other saying, no, no, it's in Sahih Muslim. And another one is arguing about the matter, Islamic situation. So he said, no, these guys are in good shape. If they're arguing about, if they're talking Islam, this, these are strong. He walked out, he said, there's no way, no way you can defeat these people. It's to their religion. Islam is what makes us what we are. Islam is what forms your life, personally and as a nation. Years and years later, they sent another spy in. They said, check up on these people. See if we can go in and invade them and take them over. So he went in. Guess what they were doing, the young guys now? They were up in, messing around, playing up. They were arguing. But you know what they were arguing for? It's not over a Bukhari, it was over a girl. And then, and then, and then he found a few of them who were drunk. Then he looked at the message. He's seen spider webs on the doors of the message. And then he looked at the clubs. The clubs are all lit up and everyone's in there. So he said, now is the time to take up. And that's when the Muslim got ousted out of there in humiliation. So who's the one who determines the victory of the Ummah? You, you, your age. Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he destroyed the statues, how old do you think he was? Some scholars say 12, some scholars say 13, some scholars say 14. He, there's no way he could have been over 17. You know why? Allah in the Quran says, Ibrahim." <coughs> we heard Fatan. In the Arabic word Fatan could not be a man. So he's a teenager. He's a youth. So Ibrahim alayhi salam as a youth was what brought Tawheed, monotheism, back to this earth.